Welcome to Trivia Viral. Our channel covers all the latest analysis and recaps on TV shows and movies as well as interesting stories and facts that you may not have known. So sit back, relax, and subscribe to our channel if you have been enjoying our videos so far. After an argument with her boyfriend, one woman packs her suitcase quickly and leaves behind a diamond ring. She also leaves her town. While driving through a rural area, at nighttime her boyfriend calls her and pleads with her to return. There have been news reports of blackouts in several major cities. Her car gets suddenly hit by another and flips off the road. When the woman wakes up and finds herself in a concrete room, she sees that she has an injured leg and that she is chained to the wall. She grabs her phone and calls for someone to help her. Sadly, there is no signal. An old man enters the room and enchains her. He claims to be keeping her alive. He brings her a pair of wooden crutches. The next time he comes by, the woman tries to stagger him with a sharpened crutch. He fights back and sedates her. This video is sponsored by QD. QD is Asia's largest platform for students, tutors, and coaches to find and book lessons online or offline, all from a single platform. Sign up at QD today. When she comes to, the old man calmly tells her that there has been an attack on the surface. As the air up there is extremely dry and unbreathable, he brought her down into a small bunker beneath his farm. The woman is doubtful. The old man tells her that they will have to stay for a year or so because the outside air is toxic. So the old man takes the woman on a tour of the bunker that he built. And the third person who lives there is a young man whose left arm is in a sling. The woman remembers seeing the old man's truck as it was that truck that hit her. She quietly tells that to the young man who dismisses her. He says that he came to the bunker voluntarily. He had helped the old man build it. After the attack happened, he'd injured his arm while fighting his way in. During the first dinner, the old man seems agitated by the young man's flirting with the woman. In fact, he displays flashes of jealousy and rage. The woman steals the old man's key and goes outside. But just before she opens the door, a person with lesions appears and is screaming to be let inside. Horrified, the woman steps back. So, fearing that the old man may be right about the chemical weapon attack, the woman begins to listen to him. The old man confesses that he accidentally hit the woman's car while he was in a hurry to get to the bunker. She uses her fashion design skills to repair the cuts that she caused on his forehead. The old man opens up to her about his late daughter. The group becomes closer to each other and starts working together like a real family in the underground bunker. The old man lets the woman borrow his late daughter's clothes. The woman and the young man also bond by telling stories about each other's pasts. Suddenly something loud happens overhead. The old man sends the woman through a small duct to turn the air ventilation system back on. In the room for mechanical work, she finds a padlock skylight with scratches spelling out help. She also finds her earring she'd seen in the picture that the old man showed her of his daughter. She shares this with the young man, and he recognizes the picture as a local girl whose disappearance occurred two years earlier. They realize the old man is dangerous, and they must leave. Then the woman starts to make a makeshift hazmat suit so that one of them can go outside. She and the young man steal the old man's tools and start to construct a makeshift biohazard suit and gas mask. The old man discovers that those tools have been stolen, and he brings out a big tank of pyloric acid to dissolve them. The old man asks what they were doing with his gun. The young man claims that he was building a weapon in order to impress the woman. The old man accepts the apology of the young man, then he aims at his head and fires. He tells the horrified woman that they can now be a family of two. While the old man is cleaning up, the woman works to finish assembling the suit. He discovers the suit and goes back to try to catch her, but she flees and is able to push him onto a barrel of acid. He is disfigured, and this also starts a fire. She puts on the suit and narrowly escapes outside. When she sees birds in the sky, she removes her gas mask. But then, she sees a strange alien craft floating in the distance. When the bunker goes up in flames, the craft turns in the direction of the woman and drops off a quadruped creature. The woman shelters in the truck of the old man. This protects her from the creature and the flammable green gas that is released from the craft. The tentacles of the craft drag the truck toward its maw, but the woman finds the ingredients to make a Molotov cocktail. She destroys the creature and drives off. A radio broadcast announces that there has been some success in the fight against the invaders. The radio broadcast also instructs the survivors that they should seek safe refuge, but they also request the help of anyone who has medical or combat training. The woman flees to the refuge area while a large alien craft looms above. What are your thoughts about the story? Let us know in the comments section below. Subscribe if you would like to see more similar videos and give us a thumbs up to get more recommendations of our videos. Be the first to watch the latest videos by clicking the bell icon. See you on the next video.